Somehow. Okay. So, uh, hello everyone. My name is Tobias Wetter. I'm from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, and I would like to show you uh, an extension that we developed called Semantic OLAP. Uh, the extension was developed by me and a colleague of mine, Maria Maleshkova, which is also from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, as well as from colleagues from the University Hospital in Heidelberg, which were um, Martin Wagner, Lena Marie Tannes, and Hannes Kengott. But before I will show you the extension and the functionality of the tool, I would like to first uh, give you a short motivation. Why do we need such an extension as well as a short uh, framework of our project? So we have a project with the University Hospital in Heidelberg in which we use a semantic media wiki to store patient data in a semantic media wiki. And basically each patient has its own wiki page that stores uh, factors like, for example, his age, gender, weight, and so on. However, the physicians in Heidelberg are not very familiar with the wiki syntax, and therefore, from time to time, the following happens. So that's basically me sitting in Karlsruhe getting a phone call from a physician called Martin, and he says to me, Toby, can you please give me a list of all patients that has asthma and also give me their ages. Because he's not familiar with the wiki syntax. And basically what I do is I go into the semantic media wiki, uh, go on a dummy page and write the ask query and send him the corresponding list of all patients that he needs for his study. However, this situation is not really comfortable and we would like to provide a solution for the physicians in order to um, get the results by themselves without needing to know the wiki syntax. So our main goal is that uh, we want to have the users the possibility to uh, answer that there are ad hoc queries into the system that are not familiar with the wiki syntax. Also, we want to have the solution inside of the semantic media wiki because we want to push the idea of an integrated system. We don't want to download uh, or export uh, the semantic media wiki data and use it in another system or in another tool, but really want to have it in the semantic media wiki. And the search functionality currently of semantic media wiki does not fulfill our requirements. Um, so basically, uh, aggregation functionality or, for example, a list of all um, patients that fulfill our, um, our query um, is not working currently. And also another functionality that we would like to offer is the export functionality so we can reuse it in other tools if we would like to. So basically we want to have it in the system currently, answer ad hoc queries, uh, but also provide the possibility to export it and use it in uh, studies from the physician. So basically what we did is first we took a look at um, related extensions. We found several extensions that allowed to create data. However, they all um, they all focus more on the statistics. So um, here, users can see statistics about the access rate of certain articles or pages, or uh, the edits and changes of pages, but not really analyzing the data itself. Um, another fun, uh, extension is the semantic web browser which offers a faceted browsing functionality, but browsing through the data is not really the functionality that we would like to offer. Um, therefore, we decided to develop an own extension called Semantic OLAP, and with this extension, we would like to offer the possibility to analyze the data by using the well-known OLAP functionality. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing, and it is a very well-known method for analyzing data uh, by, by um, controlling our business intelligence departments years ago. And basically some OLAP functionality may be uh, pivoting, roll up, drill down, slice, dice, and so on. So they are very well known, this functionality. In, ex um, in addition, the export functionality into Excel should be given. Um, in order to um, give you an imagination of how the uh, tool in the end looks like. i provide you a short sneak preview. So this is basically the pivot table uh, in the end that the user can change. 
So he has um, selected properties um, in the data field and in the rows and columns, and he can change the pivot table by simply drag and drop the properties into the rows and columns and data fields and so on, and change the view on the data and also on the pivot table itself. But before we go into um, this uh, page, we first need to install it. It's a very basic installation. It's a simple extension. You copy it into your extension folder, change the local settings file, and basically that's it. Afterwards, you can go on the special page, and therefore this view is provided to the user. It's a very simple uh, two lines for the user, and um, which hides the no which hides the complexity of creating an R query. So basically, the user can select categories and also the properties. He can select multiple categories and properties, uh, which he would like to um, which he would like to analyze and also change it in the view. Um, the ask queries currently are basically very simple, basically very simple. So compound queries are currently not supported. So the user types in. Uh, the corresponding properties and categories and get, first of all, a suggestion um, which you can select. Uh, so in the background are all properties and categories of the semantic media wiki available and the user can simply type in the corresponding uh, properties. And in the background is automatically the ask query created without letting the user know what he is currently um, creating the ask queries. Um, in addition, I'm always focused on um, catching as many errors as possible uh, so, uh, and help users with useful information if he did something wrong. Same for here. So if users, for example, um, type in any error or um, if input is missing, I um, give him a short hint that um, he should provide the necessary information, so at least one category and one property is needed in order to uh, build up the table, as well as if the corresponding uh, query does not re retrieve any results. Um, therefore, a pop-up appears which says, okay, no result is returned, and also shows the corresponding ask query so the user can either check by himself whether the ask query does not work or um, not, uh, or he can uh, send the ask query directly to a technical person and he can explain why uh, there is no data available. Um, let's assume the position or the user entered the data successfully, um, then the following table or pivot table uh, appears. In the first row, we have all available properties uh, that the user selected and um, the initial table also shows in the rows um, the wiki pages, the corresponding wiki pages and uh, also initially one data field is selected. So for this example we have all patients and in the data field we have their ages. So it shows all patients and the corresponding ages in the system. We can now easily drag and drop the properties into the rows, into the columns, and change the view of the uh, data, and therefore change also our pivot table. Um, sometimes the user is not interested in the certain values that are assigned to a property, but he is interested into the amount of assigned properties. For example, um, if we have a book and multiple authors, the user is not interested in uh, the certain authors, but he would like to know, okay, how many authors does this book has written? Um, therefore, we also provide this information. Um, it's marked with a hashtag, and basically this property shows the amount of assigned values and not the uh, values itself. Um, Exactly, so it shows the amount of um, assigned values. Um, also, a small feature that is provided by the tool is uh, that we exploit knowledge about the data types. Um, for example, if we selected a property 
that has the data type quantity, we um, explore the no knowledge about the unit of the data type. Uh, in this example, uh, the table shows the patients with the corresponding loss of blood during the surgery. And uh, the data type is um, a quantity and the unit is in milliliters. So if this information is given in the semantic media wiki, then we explode the knowledge and um, display it in the pivot table as well. So the user have, um, has a feeling for the measurement. However, if no unit is given, it is not displayed, of course. One drawback which is currently uh, um, in this extension is that uh, units must be known before by the extension. So it is a list of uh, units and currently we have 10 units available and if it, this unit does not appear in this list, uh, it is not shown. So this is currently a drawback uh, which we are currently working on. Um, exactly. The drag and drop functionality is very simple. So we have our initial table, which uh, shows our patients and uh, the corresponding ages of the patients. And we now take, if we go back and remember the initial statement of Martin, he wants to have a list of all pages, uh, of all patients and the ages that has asthma. I drag and drop the property uh, asthma and uh, drop it over the, in this case, over the columns. So the pivot table changes and uh, shows me a different view. So for example, in the first uh, line, in the first row, we see our patient. He is uh, 65 and his value is true and false, which is a little bit silly, I know. A patient cannot have asthma and has at the same time not asthma, but it's almost an example. However, for example, the second patient he has no asthma value at all assigned and the third pa uh, patient in this case is 15 years old and he has asthma because his age is in the um, asthma r r column um, displayed. So therefore by drag and dropping one can easily change the view on the data and perform the OLAP functionalities. Um, another possibility that we could have done is we could have dropped the asthma uh, property into the rows and what is then done is in this example um, the patients are grouped now together according to the fact if they according to the um, assigned value for example in this case according if they have asthma or not so they are grouped together and uh, one can easily do and drill down and see or split up the values and see uh, which patient has asthma and which not and the corresponding age. So we did a pivoting, we rotate the cube uh, in order to change the view on the data. In addition, of course, we can also select other properties into rows and columns and therefore change the view on the data. Another possibility or another functionality of OLAP is uh, slice and dice and so on, which is basically a filter. It is shown uh, in this small image. Uh, each property can be filtered, um, which is currently a slice. So the user can specifically select the corresponding values that he wants to be displayed. Um, he, can also he can also make a match. So for example, he can display all patients that, are, uh, that has asthma, so his black sets on true and which are older than 60 years old. Or you can all uh, select all patients and filter for patients that has a loss of blood at highest 1000 milliliters and so on. So filters are given even though the filters are also given if they are not in the rows and columns, which is also possible. Um, another possibility is of course sorting according to the values um, in the pivot table. At there are more functionalities, so one functionality or one requirement um, from the physicians are the um, export functionality into Excel or into spreadsheet format, which is very important for them, um, because for their studies they usually use um, spreadsheet formats. 
And in this case, we um, integrated a small button, and by clicking on it, you can download the current view on the, uh, on the pivot table on your local machine. And uh, can then either process them furthermore, or, or you can process them, or use it in other tools, and so on. However, it is only the current view um, uh, downloaded. Uh, there are some more functionality, like for example sums and other aggre uh, aggregation functions, but that would be at this point too much. Um, short conclusion about semantic OLAP functionality. Well, it allows to analyze the data in the semantic media wiki, so it is an integrated system which we basically want to push, or the idea of an integrated system. So we don't use semantic media wiki not only for uh, not only for storing information but also in order to analyze it and uh, edit them or analyzing it. Uh, it is not restricted to a specific use case scenario so um, we really take care of the fact that it's not a specific solution um, for our partners in the University Hospital in Heidelberg but uh, it is also possible to use it in other scenarios like for example in the business domain where I would like to know um, what's the amount of sales for my distribution uh, for Germany and then drill down for each region, even to the city and so on, or select for certain products and so on. So the OLAP functionality is also possible, or this tool is also possible to use it in such domains. Uh, it is usable by non-wiki experts. We tested it uh, with uh, physicians from Heidelberg and uh, they really trust the data more because they are not um, dependent on us or they do not depend on us. They can really go into the system and uh, select the data which they would like to have on their own. And this is a big issue for trustworthiness if they do it on their own. Um, and they are, not, yeah, they are not depending on us. Um, also, um, we do not get too much phone calls now, we can um, focus on other works and uh, the, our uh, dummy wiki page is now deleted. Uh, and also, yeah, we use it in this uh, project to analyze data and uh, the physicians now can have or create their own view on the data, export the data and use it for their studies uh, in medicine. This is basically uh, the extension which I wanted to present to you. One last fact for the conclusion, compound queries are currently not supported, um, which is very important, or which would be very nice, nice little feature. And um, yeah, I will upload it in the next few uh, days. Uh, if you have any requests or remarks on that, feel free also to write it in the discussion page. I'm always... Uh, open for new features uh, provided by you. That's basically uh, my presentation. Thanks for your attention. like to mention is um, that the pivot table uses a JavaScript called org.js, uh, but it is in the extension folder, so uh, there are no dependencies. Um, the, yeah, very good, very good point. Um, the, um, so we do a request on the server and it is, um, or the data is processed on the client side. However, we tested it. Our, our semantic media wiki has 238,000 pa patients, uh, and it still works. Um, so I guess it's it's sufficient. Um, however, we haven't tested it with more data, so it's only I can only say okay with 238,000 it fits, um, and we yeah.